If you suffer from arthritis, a kind of joint inflammation, you're not alone. In fact, there are more than 150 different types of arthritis and millions who struggle with it. Dr. Tuvi Mendel is an orthopedic surgeon and is joining us in the studio today. Uh, Dr. Mendel, thank you for being here. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, let's get to it. Uh, you perform foot and ankle surgery. Uh, today, we are focused on ankle arthritis. So, what would somebody be feeling if they were dealing with ankle arthritis? So, fairly commonly, patients come in and they complain of foot pain or ankle pain. And you have to be specific regarding is it a foot pain or is it ankle pain? Traditionally, it's achiness, pain, occasional sensation of instability, decreased range of motion, swelling, uh, difficulties doing daily activities. Those are the kind of things that most, mo most patients usually complain about. Okay, so what would be the different causes of ankle arthritis? Is there one specific thing that causes it? Is there anything that we can be doing now to try and avoid it? So traditionally, there's a few versions, most commonly osteoarthritis, some are rheumatoid arthritis but the most common typical one is osteoarthritis and could be related to post-traumatic, some injury that you've had in the past, mm -hmm. or it could be related to underlying deformity or some foot issues that can predispose you to having deformities which subsequently lead to arthritis. Okay, so um, let's talk about people's options. So, and you brought some examples with you, so if there is anything that you want to show us, feel free. Um, Non-surgical, I'm assuming, is where people would prefer to go, um, what are some of the options as far as relieving pain in that way without surgery? So non-surgical obviously is a, a first option we go to. Uh, traditionally you can use shoe modifications, sometimes braces, sometimes injections, okay. sometimes uh, physical therapy can help, can help anti-inflammatories. Okay, and when that doesn't help, um, what are we feeling? When do we, when do we feel like it's time to call somebody like you? So when you notice that it's starting to affect your quality of life and that every time you're thinking about doing something, you're having difficulties uh, to the point that it's interfering with your lifestyle, you probably want to see me. You don't usually want to see me, but at that point you probably want to see me. Okay, and then uh, surgical options. Um, there, are, there are multiple options there, I'm assuming, because there are probably multiple ty types of arthritis in the ankle. So traditionally, I wanted to make people aware, you know, I do a lot of shoulder replacement, we do a lot of knee replacement, and okay. most patients are aware of what a knee replacement looks like. Okay. But most patients are not aware, and I find it frequently in my clinic, that when they come in with ankle issues, they're not necessarily aware of the fact that there's such a thing as an ankle replacement. Traditionally, oh. uh, the things that you have to be uh, considering is, is there a foot deformity, and do you have to fix that first? And subsequently, if you do have arthritis, are you a candidate basically for a replacement or are you a candidate for a fusion? And most patients, if you gave them the options, would much rather have a replacement than a fusion. Okay. And these are essentially two examples of a, an ankle replacement okay. where basically you are doing essentially what you do with a knee replacement, but you're using metal components above and below with a plastic component on the, on the center to maintain range of motion wow. of the ankle and allow you to provide better function and able to walk a little bit better as opposed to fusion where you basically fuse the ankle and you can't move it anymore. Okay, so the range of motion is entirely different. Not only range of motion, more importantly the study shows that if you maintain the range of motion you are preventing arthritis from developing in the other joints in the foot. If you fuse this one then the other joints bear the load and subsequently they tend to deteriorate quickly and therefore it's better to have continued function and range of motion to prevent uh, other joints in the foot from uh, basically developing arthritis. Okay, so it sounds like a replacement is a favorable option. Is If possible. If I was going to ask, I mean, is everybody a candidate for that? What makes them a candidate or not a candidate for that? So not everybody's a candidate. Obviously, age is a factor, but we're starting to do it more and more in younger individuals because we find the benefits outweigh the fact that they're a little bit younger. Uh, additional uh, medical issues, diabetes, peripheral neuropathy, vascular issues, uh, peripheral vascular disease, uh, previous surgeries that they've had potentially, oh, wow. deformities, uh, you know, those are the type of things that come into effect. Okay, um, and talk about the rehab. So let's say that we get a full replacement um, like you just showed us here. Is it a long time before we're doing things like we want to do them or like we used to do them before the arthritis? 
So traditionally, it's not as bad as it could be, but uh, with an ankle replacement, I usually keep them uh, off of it for about two to three weeks. Okay. Start physical therapy at about two weeks post-op. Usually by six weeks, most patients are walking in a brace and gradually starting oh. to wean out of a brace. That's actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so people can contact you through orthopedic specialists. Yes. And uh, if they have questions about this, and we'll get that information up for everybody. So if you're struggling with arthritis, uh, particularly like we talked about today in your ankle, you can contact Dr. Mendel by calling the number on your screen. You can also learn more about the ways that orthopedic specialists can help you just by heading to OS quadcities.com. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Mendel, for being here and just kind of making it easy to understand. Thank you. My pleasure. We appreciate it.